Namaste and welcome to Prima Heart Yogi Kids. Prima means love, so love heart yogi kids. I'd like to welcome you all back and introduce Kasha and Lalita Jewel. And my name's Prima Loka. So we'd like to start today with a little song for you that we used to sing um, at Waiheke Yogi Kids. Yeah. So sitting with a nice straight spine, relaxing shoulders, bringing the hands up into prayer or Anjali Mudra. Namaste is what we say to the good in you and the good in me. Sing Namaste every day and the world will live in harmony. So thank you for coming back with us today. We're going to start the class with three nice, big, calming breaths in and out of the nostrils. It looks like Bantry, our little dog, has joined us as well. We thought that he was locked inside, but he's an escape artist and has managed to find his way outside. We'll see if we can work with him. We're going to take three full breaths and then we're going to ring the bell. And oh, okay. is going to ring the bell today because Kasha is going to light the candle for us. So first of all, we take our three big deep breaths. So what do we do before we breathe? We make sure that our spine is nice and straight so that our heart space is open. We contract our belly button just a little towards our spine to help us keep steady and still. We have our finger and thumb joined in a mudra and we're ready to breathe as long as our eyes are closed. Are your eyes closed, Lalita Jewel, sitting up straight? That's it. And taking a deep breath in through the nostrils all the way up the spine and then exhale out of the nostrils. Another deep breath in. Relax your shoulders and breathe out. One more deep breath in, eyes closed. And exhale. And then I'll, usually I would bring a bow then. And we're gonna light a candle today. And Cashel has over many years learned to, oh, no, so you were ringing the bell, weren't you? Sorry about that. You can ring the bell, Alita Jo. Thank you. And Cash was going to light the candle for us. Oh, that's a beautiful, precious treasure. I don't know if it'll stay lit for too long if we're outside. This, this week we're doing some yoga for um, Talking Tree Hill. Um, an outdoor nature school on Waiheke Island. So this is going to be used in Talking Tree Hill as well this week. Oh, great. Beautiful. Thank you, Cashel. So we're going to start with, if you can, sitting still for just a minute. Sitting still for just a minute and closing your eyes. And I'd like you to become aware of how it feels where you are sitting. We're going to use our imagination as well. But right now, with your spine straight, beautiful spine straight, and the eyes closed, I'm going to ask you to feel into what it feels like wherever you are where you're sitting. What does it feel like under your bottom and under your legs? How does it feel? Is it hard? Is it soft? How does your body feel? I'm going to ask you to think about how your skin feels. Is your skin touching? the ear and can you feel it? Is your skin touching your clothes or the floor? 
really try hard to keep the eyes closed, stay very still, and think about how it feels. And then before we start, I'm going to ask you to use your imagination. And when you're thinking, imagine what it feels like when you feel happy. Imagine that your eyes are closed and you're imagining that you're really happy. How does that feel? Watch it tonight. Spend a moment. You might have to use your imagination and imagine the last time, or remember the last time that you were really happy. It might have only been one minute ago. But now it's happening right in this minute. Imagine that feeling of absolute happiness. Bring it inside you right now. And then flutter your eyelids open like a butterfly. And then you can tell whoever you're doing your yoga with how you feel how you felt inside or how you feel now. Fabulous. Sometimes it's good to use a memory to help you um, bring those feelings of happiness in. How did you feel, Cashel? Um, good. And happy? Fantastic. That's what that's what they're after, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to do a little movement before we do some, some more breathing. So, so Lalita Jewel would like to show you a asana or a posture first. What would you like to show Lalita Jewel? She's gonna freestyle a posture. What's what posture is this? What's that called? The backwards unicorn. The backwards unicorn. That's fantastic. Okay, pop your foot down. Everyone can try that at home. I hope you hope you all tried that at home. And Cashel, do you want to freestyle a posture before we start doing some set ones, or should we move straight into it? I don't really know you freestyle, so we can move straight into it. Okay, but you do know you can just use your imagination to make up one when you're freestyling, can't you? Yeah. Okay, so. We're going to start, let's start with the butterfly to warm our hips up a little bit, okay? Bringing the feet together, holding on to the feet, interlacing the fingers underneath. Your knees are the butterfly's wings and we're moving the butterfly's wings gently up and down. Your butterfly is flying gently around the garden, gracefully, flying from flower to flower. Can you use your imagination? And think of your favorite colored flower sitting or growing in the garden and your butterfly coming to land on it. Purple. Has your butterfly landed on a purple flower? And purple. Ah, wonderful. And Kasha? Red. Red. Okay, close your eyes for a minute and watch your butterfly fly all the way over, all the way over and land on your favorite colored flower. And then, stop flapping the butterfly's wings. Keep your knees still. Close your eyes and spend just a few seconds completely still as you watch your butterfly rest on the flower. Well done. And now, we've loosened up our hips a little bit. So why are we sitting in this posture? Should we do the telephone? Okay, should we do the telephone? You might have, you, you might have done the telephone at home before, but Lalita's doing it already. You stretch both legs down long in front of you and you sit with a nice straight spine and the navel drawn in towards the spine. And then you, with the nice back, and we Okay. First of all, should we ring the telephone? 
Here we go. The telephone's ringing. And we need to lean forward, pick up our telephone, bring it up to our ears and say, hello. 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 Lalisha would like you to see if you can try to lean forward and just do it with one hand. That's a little bit hard for me. Some people definitely will be able to. It's very open, helps them be able to do it with one hand. I can do it with one hand easy. Well done. Now we're going to do it to both sides. So who would like to ring the? Would you like to ring the telephone again? Okay. Ring, ring, ring. Well, we're going to lean forward now. Your legs need to be out long. Take hold of the other side. Pick up your telephone. Bring it all the way in and say hello. Hello, can you feel that big stretch in your hips? And then you could change your hands if you want to and bring them up this way. Hello, hello, hello. Yours no. is on your forehead, Cashel. <laughs> no. And stretching your legs out long again. Well done. Now we're going to, let's move from there into, oh, okay, let's do the tabletop. Should we do the tabletop? So. What we do if we're doing the tabletop at home is we start off in base position like this, sitting with a nice straight spine. And then we slide our hands back behind our bottoms with our fingers pointing towards our bottoms. And then we slide our feet in towards our bottoms and we lift up and we create a nice flat table. Could you create a nice flat table that you could perhaps have your dinner on? See if you lift your bottom up, make the table nice and flat, and then and also, you can release. And also I wanted to do this. Yeah. Um, wait, wait. And we're going to do that once more. Are you going to join us, Lolita? Oh, okay. okay, breathing in, sliding the heels back. Here we go, popping up into the table. Let's hold it and breathe. Look up at the sky, especially if you're outside. Look up at the sky. And exhale, here we go. And we're gonna follow, follow this with a little forward bend. So sitting in base position, that's okay. that's okay, turn around. Bring your legs out like this, here we go. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up to the sky and then bend your knees and float all the way forward. You can have your hands on side, beside your feet or you can touch your toes. Mama. Mama. Inhale, coming Mama. up again. Mama. Big bruise. Exhale, folding down. It's too hard to see that, Mama. That's okay, you're not bending your knees. That's quite hard for Lolita Jewel, but that's because Lolita Jewel's not bending her knees. If Lolita Jewel bends her knees like this, now reach for the stars. <coughs> Don't reach fall over. Stars. Show everybody that if you bend your knees, now wait a minute, reach up first, sit up straight, reach, bend your knees, bend your knees, reach for the stars, and then come forward. It's not so hard at all anymore, is it? Oh, and you can even do it with your legs almost straight now. That's because as she's warmed up and stretched, the muscles in the back of her legs have got warmer, and the tendons and ligaments, and it's easy for her to stretch. Okay, so I thought we should do the boat pose now. Now, Kasana, the boat pose. So, laying down on your backs. I know. Like, is it time for a rest already? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to come up into the boat. This one works our tummy muscles a lot and activates our digestive system so that we digest all our food properly. So when we come up, we're breathing through our nose and we contract our navel and we come up, inhale and up we come and exhale, well done and down we go. So when we're doing the boat pose, we try to keep our back up at almost the same height as our legs if we can. So we don't just breathe in and flick our feet up in the ground and keep our back on the floor. If we can, we breathe in and lift the spine up and the feet up. 
and then if we can we go a little higher and a little higher and then you could take hold and you could roll back like casual did or you could exhale all the way back okay and we'll do one more boat pose are you ready inhale and up your feet are very high casual and your back is not quite off the floor <laughs> exhale and relax which makes me think it might be time for a little roly-poly. Should we do some rolling around? And give our backs a nice little massage? Okay, so you've got to wrap yourself into a nice little ball. Sitting on your bottom. Now, we're a bit, our ground at home is a little bit uneven, so we yeah. might end up rolling all over each other's mat. But the idea is that we make ourselves into a tight little ball. We're going to roll around like balls. And then we just roll back and then up and well, start a, rolling this, up. But this is a roly poly. And down. This is a roly poly. And up. That is, that's a, um, that's a forward roll. We're doing just rolling back and forth. Oh, it hurts like that. I'm becoming an old man. <laughs> okay. And then coming back up to up right now. Yep, here's a drink of water for you right here. Need a little drink. So next, I thought we'd do the flower pose. It's too hard for me to have that one. Oh, well, you could have a little try. So, is it like this? Yes, yeah, so we start. Is it like this? Start off. It is, it is like that. But we try and see if we can do it without rolling over. So we bring our feet together, like we did in the butterfly, but this time our knees are up quite high. And then we make a nice little flower. And then we can open the flower's petals out wide, and then bring the flower's petals back together. Have a little go and see if you can balance. These two beside me are roly polying <laughs> all over the ground. You, what you need to do is you need to contract your navel and that helps you to engage your tummy muscles and it's your tummy muscles that are going to keep you steady and stable. Well done, Cashel, sitting up straight. So your spine is straight. Make your flower first and then open the flower's petals and close the flower's petals Mama, one I, more time I no. open the flower's petals Ow. and close the flower's petals okay one more time and close well done so now i think it's probably time that we pause for a minute and do a little breath and we're going to do the balloon breath today we'll just wait for lalita to join us that's fine actually she's just getting herself a drink of water just pop your water down and come and join us for the balloon breath lalita well done good girl perfect sitting beside me it might fall over here we go. Let's show everybody how beautiful and straight we sit when we're doing our pranya, our breathing. So our spine is nice and straight. And keep you can put your hands in chin mudra. And with the balloon breath, when we take a deep breath in with our nose, we swell our belly out like it's a balloon. And then when, today, when we breathe out, we're gonna breathe out and shush the breath out of our mouth. So it's gonna go like this. Breathe in, swell the belly. Fill the belly right up and then And we're gonna do this again now. Sitting up nice and straight, Lalita. Are you ready for the balloon breath? Here we go. In through the nose, swell the belly. Fill up your biggest balloon. And then when you breathe out, <laughs> and you can even bring that little movement in that a balloon would make at the very end. When you do the <laughs> I'll show you with the next one. So we breathe in, swell the belly. 
and then one more time swell the belly big like a balloon don't bring the belly in remember you breathed in and you've made the belly big that's it and then well done <laughs> okay so leaning forward bringing the knees out behind you and popping the bottom up into the sky we're going to make a a little downward dog you don't want to make downward dog with us you get the bark no you're gonna give us a few bark satchel no i'll give it i'll give you some bark no barks for you no banshees drawn okay drop the knees down to the floor engage your navel and come all the way up and look up at the sky and then exhale drop your knees down lean forward tuck the toes under and pop up into mountain here we go we're dropping to our it's knees the contract the navel inhale open up the heart to the sky exhale forward and we're in cat so we can do a little meow as we inhale to cat extension meow. exhale cat flexion mm, you might be doing a little purring there <laughs> inhale to cat extension exhale a little purring and then once more tuck the toes under lift up into a high dog if you're at home, feel free to get a few Cashel little barks. That's fine. Cashel's doing great. And then we're going to do one more heart to the sky. Drop to the knees and lift up. And push your hips forward and open your heart up to the sky. And then bring the hands into prayer. Exhale all the way back. Drop your hands down beside you and lean all the way forward into child pose and we're going to relax here in child so you all at home like cashel have got your forehead on the ground and your back is nice and soft and curved and you're in a nice small you're like a little rock a curved rock and while you're breathing in, we're going to do a little bit of humming bee breath while we're in child's pose. So Cashel's going to breathe in through his nose. And then he's going to hum the breath out. Taking it. Do you want to do some? You come up into child's pose too and do some humming bee breath. Coming back, good girl. Then taking a deep breath in again through the nose. And hum the breath out. Keep the eyes closed, looking on the inside of the forehead. Another deep breath in and hum the breath out. This is deeply relaxing, helps to calm and still the mind. Another deep breath in. Well done. And then slowly we come all the way back up to sitting over the heels. When you're ready, using your navel to help you get up. And then sweeping the legs around. Please come up to the cross-legged Lalita Jewel because we're going to do a little pretzel twist. So sitting cross-legged like this. Well done. And all we're going to do is bring the hands beside, behind the thighs to begin with and lengthen tall through the spine draw the navel in a little bit okay and then lifting the arms a little we're going to turn towards the um, left hand so turn over towards the house turning around bring the right hand in behind the back of the thigh and the left hand behind the back and all we're going to do is look over our left shoulder Keep the spine nice and straight and look over the left shoulder. So I'm going to help you carry on doing that and I'm going to help Lalita Jewel so she knows what it looks like. You bring this hand in behind here and you bring this hand and you turn your body. That's it. And your head is in straight and you're looking over the shoulder. And this hand presses into the ground like this. 
and it keeps your back nice and straight. Look, you'll look over the shoulder, out behind you, as if you're trying to find something in the paddock behind you. Well done. That is a perfect pretzel twist. Good girl. Don't lean back too far. That's it. And then another deep breath in. Try not to lean back too far, honey. Sit up straight with your back. And then as you, and then, and that's then you just untwist now, back to center. Good girl. And then we twist in the opposite direction. So taking another deep breath up, lengthening through the spine. Another deep breath up, lengthening through the spine. And we twist in the opposite direction. Can you remember how we did it? That's great. You've got one hand behind your back already. We just bring this hand in, the back of the hand, and then nice and straight through the spine. And then look out over the shoulder as if you're trying to see something in the back field. Well done. And we had this beautiful little twist going on in our torso. Lengthen through the spine. Well done, Cashel. Don't lean back too far. That's much better. Nice and straight through the spine, looking over the shoulder. Well done. Another deep breath there. Big breath through the nose. And then untwist all the way back to neutral. Well done. Okay, so I thought maybe well, we could do one last little um, one last little posture. And perhaps I thought we might do the bridge pose or Handrasana. So what we do is we lay on our back and we bring our heels up to our bottoms and then we as we next inhale we lift our bottoms up off the floor as high as we can oh beautiful that's a beautiful bridge and if you want you can bring your hands in underneath and interlace your fingers or you can just have your hands down by the sides whatever feels good Lift up as high as you can. So what you're trying to do if you're at home is, I'll show you with Cashel. Have another go, Cashel. Lift up your bottom, well done. And Cashel is lifting his chest all the way up to his chin. I might get you to release your hands, and when you release your hands at home, you slowly lower the back down, rolling the spine back down the mat. I might ask you to pop in sideways, Cashel, so that we can show everyone what you're doing. Come in front of me. You come and join us one more time, Lalita Jo. One more time in, the, in this. Good boy, lifting up, hands in underneath, and Cashel's knees and legs are in parallel, no space between your feet, you were perfect. And he's lifted his chin all the way up to his chest. And Lalita Jewel, if you bring your heels in a little closer to your bottom, that, no, not too close, just a little bit, and now pop up. Now you can lift up so much higher. And you're a bridge, that's fantastic. All the little mice would be able to walk underneath your bridge, wouldn't they? And if you bring your hands out long, get to bring your fingers together, Bring your fingers together. Well done. Lift a little higher. Perfect, Bridge. Perfect. Look how strong your legs are. And look, your chin is touching your chest, which is exactly what we want to happen. And then releasing your hands, Cashel, roll the spine gently down. The Lita Jewel needs to rest again. And it is a beautiful idea to rest in Shavasana after Khandarasana. So resting, taking three big belly breaths laying down three big belly breaths laying down you can well this is advasana rest on your tummy sure rest on your tummy advasana you can stretch your hands out in front if you like or beside you three big breaths in Well done, and then I'm going to ask you to sit up and we're going to do one last posture. One last posture, because if we've just done Kandarasana, then we might just do a little fish pose, and we'll just do a small version of the fish, where we can sit in cross-legged pose, bring our hands all the way back behind us, 
fingers either pointing towards the buttocks or away from the buttocks. Lift our chest up and lower our head back, looking up to the sky, open through the heart. And then gently bring the chin all the way back towards the chest and push off the hands and find yourself all the way back up and upright. Well done. And we'll finish with a little laying down in Shavasana, listening for, to the sounds in nature. So laying down in Shavasana. Do you want to turn over, Lalita Jewel, into Shavasana, please? Turning over. Good girl. Into Shavasana. Arms away from the outside edges of the body. Legs apart, feet splayed out to the side. Okay, you stay in Advasana. Closing the eyes. Bringing your awareness to the breath. Breathe in, swell the belly. Breathe out, let the belly fall back. Breathing in, swell the belly. And breathe out. Breathing in, and out. And now I'm going to ask you to look at the screen on the inside of the mind, the Chittakasha. Looking at this screen, like it's a movie screen on the inside of the head. And I'm going to ask you to imagine that you're a bird. Imagine a bird, and you're this beautiful bird flying through the sky, swooping and diving and spreading your wings wide, and you're able to see all of the world below you. Imagine yourself as this bird, and then see yourself flying all over town or the place that you live. You're able to see your house, the top of your house. You're able to see your family, your garden. You're able to see your local playground, high in the sky. And as you fly, you're flying past other birds and you're flying past clouds and you're swooping down to the tops of trees. Perhaps you're flying past your favorite tree that's somewhere near where you live. And watch then as you fly and swoop down over rivers and the sea and flying so high that you're flying past mountains and waterfalls. And then I'm going to ask that you fly all the way back towards your home and then fly all the way down until you come to rest on a tree perhaps in your garden or if you don't have a garden perhaps in a tree in a park nearby you just rest on the tree you've been flying so far and for so long you're a little tired so you just rest on the tree, or perhaps there's a nest in the tree, and you hop into the nest and you curl up and go to sleep. Having a nice rest, and your breath is easy and long, and you feel completely relaxed and snuggly and warm. at home you feel free to stay resting for as long as you can but we're going to say goodbye now until next time so Cashel if you'd like to if you can come up to sitting and the Lita Jewel please come up to join us as well to say hello to everybody and we say namaste good girl up you come sitting up good girl ah oh, well done have a big stretch if you need to you need to have a big stretch. You look as if you've been asleep. 
and bringing your hands into prayer and giving everybody a big smile and saying namaste. Namaste. namaste namaste thank you for joining us Hariyong Tatsa we hope to see you again soon namaste